What's up guys and dolls? Junkyard here, working on a Cat 299. Uh, kind of a dreary, cold day. Um, I thought I had a brake problem with this because you'd go to move and the right side would hang up and kind of pop and um, pulled the cover off the planetary, everything in there looked good. So check pilot pressure, pilot pressure was good. Check the other odds and ends. So I determined the motor needed to come off. Pulled it apart, everything looked good. I, I was suspecting a brake seal or a brake disc or something like that. But what I found was the swash plate has a crack in it. I don't know if I can, yeah, you can just make the crack out. So it cracked and what happened was every time one of them would come around and feel an edge, they would catch that crack and, and it would you know, it's under spring pressure when the motor's put together. So you would have, you'd catch that edge every time. So, um, that's the problem. And see, that's the thinnest part of the swash plate too. That It sits on a, this little plunger right here with spring underneath it. And, um, so, you know, it's one of those things get into something and you feel pretty convinced you know what it is and I stopped at the break and then I decided you know I need to go all the way because I haven't found the issue and that's what it was so you know maybe maybe someday somebody will get into something like this but you see everything's clean inside there everything looked good in the brake housing the o-rings weren't cut the piston everything looked good on it I mean this machine's only got like 12 1300 hours on it but um maybe somebody will run into that issue because i mean it bound up almost like it was the brake but generally with brakes you've either got sufficient flow and sealing capacity that you you know they release and they do what they're supposed to and then furthermore most of them if you have a brake pressure issue unrelated to a motor itself, you're going to see no brakes releasing at all and zero machine movement. So, um, you know, this one, like I said, this is kind of, kind of threw me for a loop. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. Crazy, isn't it? And it's like a cast piece, you can see, so probably a little imperfection in the casting process or something in the way they had it chucked up when they machined it or who knows what caused it, but I'm happy to see that we found it and uh, we'll get the rest. I had all the other parts, but I, I was pretty convinced I didn't need, I had the swash plate, but I didn't buy the rotating group and those little pistons are what I need and you can't get them by themselves, so... I will say this 299 is considerably easier to work on than that 277 I did a while back. It, the the multi-terrain style, they ride awesome, but man, there's a lot of moving parts. So, I mean, that whole drive motor and everything just goes right in here. You got a handful of hoses. Use the crane to wrestle the track off. So, see my little scattered pile of stuff there, but... Um, the, what I was going to say, I didn't think about it last time. Anytime y'all get into something and you need a, some advice or whatever, feel free to shoot a comment and ask me or um, I set up an email address just for stuff uh, that comes from exposure on YouTube. And so it is the junkyard method at yahoo.com. So the T H E. Junkyard, J-U-N-K-Y-A-R-D, method, M-E-T-H-O-D, at yahoo.com. So, there's some stuff I don't know about. I'm not an automotive guy, but, you know, diesel, heavy equipment, compact equipment, fabrication, um, just kind of that, that sort of stuff is what I'm into. Maybe getting started, what kind of tools you need, the quality of tools you need. Um, you know, I... I even dealing with people, managing people, stuff like that. You know, I'm 
if I have a experience and I feel like I can give you solid advice, I will do it. And if I have zero background, I will tell you that. I'm not going to blow smoke up your skirt because I wouldn't want to be done that way either. But anyway, hope everybody's doing good. Had a good week. I'll be removing rigs Monday. And then I don't know what I got going. Hope I get parts on this and I'll throw it back together um, Wednesday, Thursday and get it out of here just for him to bring me another one. So, take care everybody.